what is going on guys mind Mel here and today we're talking about your webcam uh it may look like i'm running like a super amazing expensive mirrorless sony something rather something rather but i'm not i'm just using a logitech c920 regular s 50 dollars webcam and uh, a lot of you guys are out there are also running a logitech 50 dollars regular ass webcam you may want to look a little something more like this so today we're going to jump into this video we're going to have all the links and stuff that you're going to need down in the description below make sure you check out those links don't forget to check out the like button and subscribe button while you're down there and then uh yeah guys we're going to jump into it and show you everything you need to do to make your boring stupid dumb old looking webcam look a little something like this all right so the first thing you're going to need is the logitech g hub uh, software if you don't have this installed make sure you go ahead and grab this for windows 10 or for mac whichever one you're using and then uh download and install that make sure you're closed out of obs first uh or slobs what if you're still using slobs we could talk about that later but uh yeah close out of your obs install logitech g hub Next up, if you have an NVIDIA card, one of the 20 series or 30 series edition cards, you're going to want to go to the NVIDIA Broadcast Download Center and you're going to want to actually grab, I would suggest grabbing just all three of these downloads if you have one of these. They're very lightweight and uh, they have some really cool effects and stuff like that that you can do with your PC that we can get into some advanced tips in another video. All right, so the next thing that you're going to want to do is open up your in uh logitech g hub software so open that up you're going to get something that looks a little bit like this uh you should see your camera here if it's not detecting it maybe it's not supported by g hub you may want to double check on that but you should have your camera here like a c920 i can just click on that and that takes me to like a bunch of different uh camera settings and stuff like that it actually says camera not available because I'm going to go into the settings gear button up here at the top and I'm going to click on that and I'm going to make sure this is unchecked for right now. This is to disable the device in G hub to allow other software to have full control. So we're going to go back here and then, um, my, my camera is actually being used in OBS right now. And that's what you're seeing right there on the screen. So, um, you can't actually see the preview here but maybe on your your screen you're actually going to see a preview here um these are my this is my recommendation the first thing you need to do is go to camera and then go to camera mode and then click on this little down button you're probably on like default streaming video call one of those things just click on add a new camera mode right um so add a new camera mode you're going to get like a camera mode or camera mode one whichever one you've got there Okay, once you've created your new camera mode, um, the first thing you're going to want to do is take your zoom button and go all the way to the left. Uh, you're going to want to uncheck anything for autofocus and auto exposure. It may make your video look really dark right now, and that's fine. We're going to fix that here in just a minute. So it's probably going to look something more like this, uh, where you can hardly see it. Uh, what you're going to do is take this focus thing, go all the way to the left, all the way to the left on the zoom and then bring up the bring up the exposure until it starts to look something about like this for me that looks like about 75 percent there's no percentage on this thing so i can't really tell then you're going to head over to the video tab all right you're going to create another camera mode under the video tab so new video mode just click on add new filter underneath here and it's going to save it to the persistent profile and then what I would suggest doing is your if your if your brightness is above 50%, just drop it down to about 49 to 50%. Drop your contrast down to about 50%. Right, bring your sharpness up to about 60%. Uncheck auto white balance. Bring that to about 60%. Well, that's going to really depend on your lighting setup. Uh, but I rec I recommend I'm running one uh, ring light in here, so I'm going to run uh, 60%. A white balance here and then your saturation i like to bump that up to about 55 to 60 percent oh i just didn't i didn't realize you can actually can you actually type this in here oh you can 55 percent and then you can actually click on 60 uh anti-flicker if you're in the u.s 
if you're in other countries that have some sort of weird power thing going on you can click on 50 for that anti-flicker option next you want to go up to c920 settings click on the little gear again and then uh choose to disable that's going to lock those settings in all right um you also may want to make sure that if you go back to the main screen that you're always start after logging in make sure that's checked and you should be good to go you can close the program all right next we're going to head into the nvidia broadcast uh software here i can't make the video the the window any bigger but so you'll have to just deal with this but basically you want to go to the uh the camera tab you know feel free to check out the microphone effects and speaker effects and stuff like that but i don't really personally use any of that but what we're going to do is head in here and you're going to select your webcam under the camera source so for me that's the uh hp or hd pro webcam c920 and then you're going to want to select your profile underneath here which is 1920 by 1080 at 30 fps and then what i've done is actually selected the background blur you have background blur replacement uh removal uh auto frame and remove this effect so basically what we're going to do is use background blur and then what we're going to do so basically what we're going to do is click on background blur make sure that this is turned on and it should start blurring your background right away you don't need like a super super strong strength here it just depends on what look you're going for i mean you can get really crazy if you want to but i recommend it probably about like um i don't know maybe 10 to 15 to 20 percent or so and then i choose quality over performance uh it if it runs bad on your pc choose performance but otherwise choose quality after you got all that set make sure that you have your background blur enabled just go up and click on the little gear in the top right and make sure you have this set to launch when windows starts and then you can close the program out all right so the next thing you're going to want to do is actually go in here and right click and add a new scene i'm going to call mine green screen and then uh go ahead and give that a name like green screen or nvidia cam or something like that and then you want to add a new source uh right click and add a source you're going to add a video capture device and then uh give that a call give that a name like nvidia cam or something like that and then basically in here you're going to see your device uh you want to go through it and pick your nvidia broadcast uh option there and then you're going to set it up so basically down here you choose custom for the resolution and fps type 1920 by 1080 for the resolution highest fps for fps leave everything else alone besides buffering i like to just set that to disable because i don't really need buffering on and then uh yeah we don't really also need rotation data from the camera if any so go ahead and just click on ok and that'll bring your camera in to obs so the next thing you're going to do is in obs you're going to right click your uh camera your green screen and video camera and you're going to go to filters and here you're going to have two different sections you're going to have audio video filters and then you're going to have effect filters the first one we're going to apply here is color correction uh so you want to right click add or you can click the little plus button uh, right click add and choose color correction there's a few options in here you can actually play with uh the gamma if you're if your webcam's looking too dark you can actually bump up the gamma a little bit i'm gonna leave mine at about 0.11 and then the contrast you can bump that up a little bit i've got mine at 0.05 brightness you want to leave that at zero saturation you can bump that up a little bit i'm going to go to 0.15 and then hue shift you can leave that at zero opacity leave that at 1.0 and then you can leave the rest of the options alone next we're going to add what's called a lut uh, so you want to right click and add apply LUT you want to do this and we're actually going to do this two times we're going to apply two different LUTs the first one here is once you apply your LUT what we're going to do is grab a path and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these LUTs available for download on my discord 
So you can come and then you can also get these cool camera shapes as well. So uh, what we're gonna do is go to path and click on browse. And then you're gonna get probably the default like uh, path, but just go through and find this wherever you place these LUTs after you download them. And you click on LUT one, click on open, and then you can adjust the amount of the LUT. So you don't have to use, you don't have to do the LUTs, but I think it makes them enhance. So I like to use these two. There are different LUT packs out there, but I'm gonna make these two available on my Discord. If you wanna come over to the Discord and download the LUT pack as well as the image pack for the webcam frames and stuff like that, that makes this little, little cool little corners and stuff like that that we have on the webcam. So I'm gonna set this to about 0.50. And then we're going to do basically do the same thing. We're going to add another uh, LUT, apply LUT filter here. And then you're going to, you're going to path out and uh, grab the second LUT, LUT number two. And then we're going to probably put that about whatever looks good for you. I'm going to go with 0.80. If you would actually like to uh, see how you add this webcam frame, there's actually different ones and stuff like that you can do in here. If you go in here and you right click and you go to add, image mask blend you can uh you'll get these options here so basically you want to go to the second option alpha mask uh which is the alpha channel right and then you want to choose your pack here let me find it so this cool camera shape pack is actually brought to you by visuals by impulse which i'm an affiliate of uh i'll leave a link down below where you can actually save on from their store but this pack is totally free so you have two different things you got webcam frames and you have image mass what we're going to look at is image mass and you can do things like make it a circle you can uh change the colors if you want to you can do different ones i like to choose this corner cut one right here and then you just leave the opacity at one and then you don't want to stretch the image or anything like that you can just leave the color on white and you should be good to go all right, guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope your webcam's looking like a thousand times better because I know mine is. And uh, I'm running like one ring light here. So I don't even have like an expensive lighting setup besides the Philips hues that are behind me here. All right, guys, so the next video you're gonna wanna check out is right up here. It's about how to use your stream deck in a super awesome way. Really recommend you check it out. And uh, yeah, guys, Thanks as always for watching, stay safe, keep it sticky, oh yeah.